Welcome to this segment of the program. Inuagata no Sahai is my name. And this morning, our conversation is going to be on seven reasons for ineffective team meeting. Now, team meeting is just one strategic way as a team leader that you can actually drive positive team culture. You know, reports, research has it that ineffective team meeting is one of the you know, factors that contribute to time wastage in the workplace. So this morning, like I said, our discussion is going to be on seven reasons for ineffective team meetings. And one reason, one reason that, you know, uh, one of the things that team members or team leaders do, beg your pardon, you know, one reason for ineffective team meeting is a team leader tolerating late arrival. Team leader tolerating late arrival. You see a situation whereby a time has been fixed for a particular meeting. The time has been scheduled that, oh, it's 11 a.m. And then some persons, some team members come for the meeting quarter to 11, 15 minutes before commencement time. And then 11 a.m. arrives and the meeting is not starting because the team leader is waiting for the late comers. And these late comers, they don't fully come until 11.30. That means those that came quarter to 11 have waited 45 minutes for the meeting to commence. Now, imagine the kind of negative energy, the negative psychology that 45 minutes of waiting would have, you know, kind of projected into those that came early for the meeting. So, late arrival, tolerating late arrival by team leaders, inject negative psychology in the people that have come early, thereby rippling that same negative psychology in the atmosphere. Now, there is something not too palatable or not too pleasant, you know, in this old narrative. Now, some persons have come quarter to 11. They waited till 11.30 for the late comers to fully arrive for the meeting to start. And there was no consequences on the late comers. The team leader did not dispense any form of consequence or deterrent for these late comers for arriving late. When this is the situation, the team leader is indirectly giving lessons to those that came early today to come late in the next team meeting. That is why one of the you know, reasons that we see ineffectiveness in team meetings. And when team meetings are ineffective you know, in this way, it therefore means that there will be fluid collaboration distortion in the team. So it's very important the team leader watch this issue of tolerating late arrival. Another factor that contributes to ineffective team meeting is when the team leader did not define clear objective for the meeting. We see situations whereby team leaders just call for meetings, you know, they just gather people and they assume that people should know why they are here, that people should understand the objective and the purpose of the meeting. No, it will not, you know, just happen that way. You have to define the purpose of the meeting. What are we here for? Why are we here? What are we here to achieve? The purpose must be defined. You know, you just have to define it in order to make the meeting a vector quantity, having magnitude and at the same time having direction, or like scalar quantity with magnitude and no direction. You must set direction. If direction is not set from the very beginning, it means that the team meeting does, you know, it's not, it's not purposeful. It means it's ineffective. And at the end of the day, it's also going to avoid fluid collaboration. It's going to distort team equation. And the third one is not defining clear agenda. Now, the objective that I just discussed, you know, now is what we are going to achieve. But the agenda is the flow of the activities we need to go through in the meeting to achieve what we are here to achieve. So the agenda is actually the step, the roadmap that must be clearly defined that we are going to use to ensure that the objective becomes a reality. The mistake some team leaders make is that they just come and then there is no roadmap, there is no step, there is no, you know, you know the, 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 the agenda is the flow of the activities we need to do. They are the steps we need to take. So some team leaders just come in, no steps, no, no flow of activity, things are just going without direction 
and that at the end of the day will make the meeting to be ineffective. Then the fourth reason for ineffective team meeting is not having the right people in the meeting. Now, as a team leader, you need to understand that for you to achieve what needs to be achieved in team meetings, you don't need crowd. You don't necessarily need crowd. You know, it's even more easier for you to manage few people than to manage crowd. When you have crowd, you would spend a lot of time and energy trying to synchronize them towards the objective of the meeting. But when you have few people, you know, things are better managed. You are able to arrive on conclusions, you know, and decisions faster. So you need to sit down objectively, you know, think about who are these people that should be here. You may just bring some persons into the meeting and throughout the two hours, three hours, or even 45 minutes of the meeting, you are wasting their time. They don't need to be there. So you really necessarily don't need crowd. You need to know that, okay, these are the persons that should be here. It may just be the team heads should be with me or the HODs or the supervisors. And then when the, the meeting is done with, they will take the information back to, you know, the people in their department or the people they are supervising. You don't necessarily need crowd for you to have a successful meeting. This is very important. Then the fifth re reason or the, for ineffective meeting is poor problem management. Poor problem management. Now, it is very normal for people to have observed things in the system, in the organization, in the workplace, they, are, they would have observed problems, they would have observed things, you know, that are not so pleasant that they want to bring to the team meeting, you know, for it to be deliberated on. This is not out of place. But it's also very important you make them understand that while they are bringing those problems, they should allow a company solutions to come with it. In other words, at home, they would have thought it over and they have suggested solutions they will bring around. As I begin to move towards conclusion this morning, we also have cases whereby some team leaders, you know, rep repeat topics in team meetings. You know, they use other semantics, they use other languages, other words to discuss things that have been discussed before. This should be watched as well because it makes team meetings to be ineffective. And then also, as I conclude with the seventh one this morning, there is a difference between team leader meeting and real team meeting. Team leader meeting are those meetings, you know, that will not, they will not achieve worldwide goals because of the absence of the team leaders. But the real team meetings are teams that are able to achieve worldwide goals even when the team leader is not physically present. Which one do you have? You should make sure that you pursue real team meetings, no team leaders meeting that people will not be able to achieve anything worthwhile just because the team leader is absent. Now, I strongly believe that value have been added to you today, profound value for that matter. And it's important you reach me so that we can take this conversation to the next level. My phone number is 80 66 I'll take it one more time. 80 And the second one is 80 529 080 I'll be seeing you next week Wednesday. I will not return. I will still be the amiable. Inuagata no Sahai. Your day is so blessed.